Hi YouTube, it's me Yoli1976 again. Um, just thought I'd get back on here and do part two of my VSG um, video, um, my um, weight loss journey, journey. Um, because the first part I was telling y'all all about my um, medicine, the prescriptions that they had given me to take prior to my surgery, and um, I also told y'all I was waiting for a surgery date don't have a surgery date yet so still waiting now it can be a little long they wrote me a lot of saying to be patient about the whole thing because they have people still on the waiting list um it's a female on here i can't remember her um channel name but she has the same doctor i have and she was done back in july no i think she's done everything in june and she got a date in july for August the 30th so we got the same doctor same insurance and I was done in July so um and she's August the 30th so I'm pretty sure they booked up in September so I'm thinking they told me the beginning of September and August but there's no way I'm thinking the end of September oh gosh and that's terrible because my birthday is October the first and I do not want to be laid up in nobody's hospital on my birthday but if not anyway this whatever day I get my surgery I'm gonna make that my new birthday so um if it just happened to land somewhere around my birthday it all work out good um last time I was on here I was talking about how they wanted me to do a few more tests well these flash y'all the papers that they sent out for me to do the um, last little bit of tests are not my papers. These are other people's papers. Okay, two tests. And here I am about to try to schedule and get these tests done. Something that I want in the heck of the album. Okay, something that I had not needed at all. One of them was um, the seat of gastrology for co um yeah, for colonoscopy. I mean, I would have been really <clears throat> upset about that. Oh, no. The digestive disease associated. That's for colonoscopy. Okay? And then the other one is a, a gastrology for snapshots of my stomach, I guess, or whatever. I'll, anyway, I'll, I mean, I know that they're going to have to. There's no way they can do surgery and I have to do it but um, I don't know when maybe doing surgery maybe after I don't know when it's going to happen but these are not my papers and they never should have been sent to me and um, I don't want to do anything extra that I don't have to do however I do have to get my chest x right and they had me worried about that because they said something about my breathing but no I have to get a chest x ray. they say everybody does before they have surgery so they had me all worried about that. I'm like, Phew, I'm glad nothing's wrong with me. You know. So, and the last time I was on here, I was talking about the medicine that they put you on for surgery right before and for um, doing the whole process and after. Um, I didn't know what each one was for, but now I do. And I don't want to name each medicine again and go through the milligrams and all that again. So I'm gonna just tell you what each one is for. One of them, they, I know there was seven of them. So one was for uh, depression. Um, I don't have depression, but it's, I also read it said that um help balance you out. So I guess because they gotta go in and they cut and you know for people that don't know, I'm getting vertical sleeve surgery. So if, um I guess because they have to cut part of your stomach maybe they need to balance you out again i don't know because it said it was for depression and to balance a person out the other one is for um get yeah, um reflux actually two of them are for reflux um so i guess you know just because you're getting your stomach cut on you probably do need something like that the other one is to keep um down I guess infections or something um then one of them was um
One of them is pain medicine. And the other one is for the um, the shower gel. You know, I have to take it four days prior to surgery to make sure my skin nice and clean. And then there's one more. One more, one more, one more. I'm trying to think what that last one's for. Oh, and the other one is the, the blood clot, the needle. You have to put in your abdomen and your stomach. And you have to do that for, I think, two weeks to keep yourself from getting blood clot. And I would advise anybody that's getting surgery to also um, walk after the surgery. Because you don't want to get blood clot. That can be deadly. It's very dangerous. And then we were talking about the consent form. I don't know if I went through it, but to go through it real quick with y'all. They give you a consent form like this. And it's about... I have other papers behind it, so don't get scared. It's about three pages long. And the first page basically talks about, um, there's the first paragraph talk about the types of surgery that is available to you. And then it, I guess it, um, because I'm getting sleeve gastrectomy, which is VSG, the vertical sleeve, I it particularly talk about that particular surgery. And then the third paragraph talk about the benefits from the surgery that you can have like less back pain or, you know it can help you when I have high depression and diabetes you know it, it's it varies you know depends on the person rather after surgery they won't have diabetes and um high blood pressure so don't just think you get the surgery and it disappear um it depends on the person and how much of the diet that you follow um and then it has another part where I was talking about how much they expect you to lose in the um, first year. They expect you to lose one third or half of the weight. So I'm going to try to be on my grind about this diet. I'm really going to be putting my mind to it and try to lose more than half. Um, I forgot in the beginning of it, it talks about, it's just clearing up everything. The doctor just saying that you might not lose weight. Well, you might lose weight, you know. They don't know what's the outcome, what your body is, how your body going to take to it, and what you're going to do to lose the weight. So, and then, if y'all see me looking over this way and all over the place, because I had the papers sitting down here, and they, I have them spread out, that's why. But anyway, then it has the last paragraph that runs onto the second page. It is talking about you, you know, you can get infection and the wound and stuff. And that's why they put you on one of the medicine to try to prevent that, you know. And then they talk about how you can get um, pancreatitis and gastritis, stomach ulcer, stuff like that, you know. And it's so on. You, you, you know, if you're looking into the surgery, I advise you to do your research. You know, there's a lot of things that can happen to you, but... Just weigh your pros and your cons, you know. And um, if your bad outweigh your good, then I advise you get the surgery. But if you have more good with the surgery that outweighs that bad, then I'm telling you, get the surgery. <laughs> you don't have to. You can do it the other way, too. It also says that in there. You could try to do it the natural way by eating right diet and but for me um it didn't work out for me i tried i tried so many diets i don't want to put them out there because um but i tried a lot of diets and not them work for me so i think this is the way for me um so and then it talks about the operation and what can happen during the operation and if you, um, it also talks about, you know, how you can get the dumping syndrome and, you know, lack of vitamins and protein and stuff. And how you might have to be admitted in the hospital. I mean, a lot of it is to do with the person because um, if you're taking your multivitamin, your iron medicine, that's if your doctor put you on iron. I wasn't put on iron. Your um, calcium and your... Uh, The iron, the multi, the calcium. There's one more. Oh, your B12. Um, I think you should be fine. You know, that's what they tell you to take. 
So, oops, my screen cut off, y'all. I couldn't see myself. That's what they tell you to take. Um, so if you take the wrong thing, I think you should be fine. For me, I I take the multivitamin. I take the calcium. I take the um. I change my calcium from pill to chewable because I can't take them big horse pills. Um, also, I take the um, B12 and I added biotin for my hair because they say your hair comes out and biotin possibly can help a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'll just take it. And what else? I take the 5 and 1. Okay, so that's what mainly I take. Um, and if you're a Kaiser Insurance, Kaiser, you know, they put us through hell and back for all your Kaiser people. They put us through hell and back to get to the surgeon, and on top of it, you got to do a questionnaire, okay? And it is two pages and 20 questions long. And I guess they just ask some questions, like I give you three of the questions they ask, so you know what it's like. It says, There are other operations for morbid obesity other than gastric bypass, true or false. Staple or suture lines or never leak, causing infection communication between stomach, intestine, or the skin. True or false. Clots on the legs, pelvis may happen from obesity surgery. These clots can travel to lungs, causing breathlessness, chest pain, or even death. True or false. A few months after surgery, the patient does not need to worry about dieting and can eat whatever he or she wants. True or false. We all know the answers to these questions. So it's, it's a real simple questionnaire. So that wraps everything up. Um, I told y'all about, you know, they gave me two um tests that weren't mine. So that wraps everything up. I'm still waiting on the date, and as soon as I get a date, I promise I'll get on here and I'll let y'all know. Um, my date and what I have to do to get ready for the surgery besides what I told you. Until the next time, bye YouTube. It's fine, it's